Assalamualaikum apa khabar Hezri Samsuri Car restoration Restorasi kenderaan Ialah satu hobi yang Semakin lama Semakin popular Saya sendiri pun buat Restorasi kenderaan Dan restoration ini Sebenarnya mengikut Bajet kita Ada bajet kecil Dan ada bajet besar Dan ada bajet mega So hari ini Kita di Kepong Bukan Bukit Kepong Dekat Johor Kepong di Kuala Lumpur Kerana di sini ialah satu kilang kenderaan yang kita selalu lupa Bufori Bufori ni memang pengeluar kenderaan Dia boleh hasilkan kereta daripada kertas, daripada desain Sampai ke kenderaan yang betul Tetapi ada satu cabang Bufori yang ramai sebenarnya tidak tahu Bufori is also into car restoration And restorasi kenderaan di Bufori bertahap dunia Jom kita tengok Bufori memang dikenali sebagai penghasil kereta sport berbentuk neoklasik, bentuk retro lah. Tetapi apa yang ada di depan kita ini ialah dua buah konsep car mereka. These are both Bufori CS. These are performance cars, kereta sport belum lagi dihasilkan. These are masih lagi dalam bentuk prototype as you can see. Memang Menarik, cantik dan ni saya nak tunjuk kat awak tengok ni. Bufori CS made in Malaysia fully handmade. Yes, Bufori sangat bangga untuk cakap mereka dibuat di Malaysia. So jom kita jumpa dengan orang dia. Kita tak cerita pasal kita baru dia, kita cerita pasal projek restorasi mereka. Morning guys. Morning guys. So, ini ialah pengurus besar dia, GM dia, General Manager, Felix Haller, right? Haller, yes. Felix Haller. And ini ialah kreatif, kreatif what dah? Kreatif designer. Kreatif designer dia, Keegan Chok. Yes. So, ini adalah antara, well, he's the big boss. There is another one there, right? Uh, Where, yeah. big boss. He's the second big boss. So, nanti kita akan jumpa dia. Tapi apa yang kita nak buat kat sini ialah Felix akan explain, akan terangkan kat kita proses restorasi kenderaan kat sini hari ni. And uh, I can see that they have something interesting here. So, jom kita duduk sekejap. Kita dengar apa Felix cakap. Okay, Felix. So, what would be the first step if I would like to restore a car? Well, the first thing we do is actually we take a grand look at the project. Um, and uh, we need to assess the history of the vehicle. We need to assess what parts that we need, what needs to be done. Um, so the first big step is actually a quotation. Yeah? And quotation doesn't mean we just give you a quick piece of paper and a big lump sum or so. We need to do research. Yeah? So this is something that can take many weeks, many months sometimes, because we need to source parts, we need to identify suppliers, we need to identify what is wrong with the car, what is the original condition. Um, and we also need to take into account what is the intention of the customer. So the customer can tell us we want an original restoration. That means the car needs to be exactly like factory. Um, or a resto mod. That means there's some creativity. We change the, or the original specification of the car. We maybe change the powertrain to something modern or put in gadgets or something like this. Okay, bersama dengan saya sekarang ialah Keegan. Dia ialah creative, creative artist. Uh, creative, creative designer. Sorry. Creative designer <laughs> dia. Ah, okay, now. Untuk sebuah syarikat yang bertaraf global, they have a proper designer. Sebab sebelum kereta tu dia orang nak tunjukkan kat awak, this is, I think this is part of the quotation also, right? So, ini adalah antara sebahagian daripada sebut harga tu. They will come out with a 3D design of the car untuk 
tunjukkan anda warna kereta tu so Kigen uh, can you share with us uh, what are actually the real function of the 3D designs uh, well the 3D design is to allow the customer to properly visualize what the car would look like when it's done because uh, at the early stages it's very difficult to imagine once you've chosen all the different colors, materials, how it all comes together and works together as one final restored vehicle. And it's a big commitment for the customer. So it's better to have the visualization so the customer can see what it looks like from the very beginning. Ini adalah antara kenderaan yang uh, dah hadir untuk di restore kan? So this is an MGB. So kat belakang tu ada lagi dua kereta dan ada lagi. So ini ialah keadaan kereta yang mereka terima dan yang ini masih lagi cantik sebab ada yang korang tengok pun korang sedih tapi owner nak restore juga ok so sekarang ni kita ikut Felix Felix nak bawa kita naik dekat atas sebab ni nak tunjuk kita bahagian trimming maknanya bahagian cabin dekat situ ialah antara specialty bufori so kita dekat bahagian trimming so trimming ni apa yang dia buat dia buat cabin kereta dalam cabin kereta so dekat sini kita tak boleh panggil dia orang ni sebagai pekerja-pekerja biasa ataupun tukang jahit tak boleh nama orang putih untuk dia orang ialah artisan dia orang ialah orang seni sebab kerja yang mereka lakukan ni memang kerja-kerja seni bang nama bang Muhammad Samsul Oh ya bang, umur berapa bang? 28, 38? 56, masih muda Nampak tak? Itu yang kita nak nampak masih muda Abang berapa tahun dah kat sini bang? Oh 90 eh, 70, 93 30 tahun lebih lah I'm the first uh, ni Pioneer Bufori So this one of the pioneer batch Bufori lah ni hmm, so, so sebelum tu abang kerja apa? Uh, saya memang belajar trade ni You mean buat kerja kulit? Uh, interior Interior dekat Mara? Uh, uh, technical uh, IKM Mara Abang asal mana ni bang? Uh, KL Ampang <laughs> oh, Semua orang KL lah kerja sini <laughs> Okey, apa yang abang tengah buat ni? Bang? Ini uh, helikopter punya meter Yang meter instrument ni kan Yang pilot And then dia tengok instrument dia ni uh, Tu gambar heli Oh ni ha dia heli punya interior ah, dia tengah buat. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Kita berjumpa dengan managing director dia, pengarah urusan dia dan juga pengasas Bufori. Ya. Yeah. This is the guy. Can you introduce yourself? Well, I'm not sure how to introduce myself but um, um, I'm Jerry Curry, I'm the founder of Bufori and uh, um, I'm surrounded by a great group of talented people. Um, we've migrated to or we moved to Malaysia back in uh, 1994 officially um, and we've been, been here ever since. And when did you start doing all these restoration projects? The restoration projects really, I mean I've been doing them for a long time even before I came to Malaysia. So it was very common for us to bring cars in from Australia and do them here. Um, in Australia when we restore cars, it started off just a hobby. Um, and once the hobby started, you know, you can't stop it. But when we came to Malaysia, we brought cars from Australia to Malaysia to restore, send them back to Australia again. And now the market in Malaysia has really picked up for restorations. People here are starting to appreciate the refinements, the quality, the attention to detail that we put into the cars. Um, what we do that's very different to everybody else is it's an uncompromised restoration. Um, and uncompromised means it's not a superficial restoration. It's not something that you just make the car look pretty and look nice and everything you see only is done. It's the invisible, it's just as, just as important as the visible and that's what we do. So ini dia Mark Wood, he's from Australia. Dia ialah pengurus, bes, bukan pengurus besar, uh, GM apa, general manager. Pengurus besar lah untuk bahagian interior, bahagian dalam. So Mark, so what do you have for me today? Uh, today we, we've just got in a new batch of leather for a, a project that we're doing. So I'm just about to unroll it and check the quality of it and make sure that it's uh, it's before equality. We're, we're very we're very uh, specific on the quality of the leather we use. It has to be the best. When our team are ready to lay all the templates down, um, they can avoid all the marks that we don't want. Uh, on average, you have you've got to allow up to 25% wastage on a leather hide due to those sort of facts. And this is from Italy. This is from Italy. Um, 
and as I say, these, these hides are, are like the best you can buy and they're the most expensive in the world. So there, there's very, very few fully flaws on these. Yes, they're fully impregnated. Uh, fully impregnated means that the colour, it's, it's through dyed. Mm. So the, the dye goes right through. Uh, if you get a surface scratch, you'll still see, for the, in this case, you'll still, still see blue mm. instead of seeing grey. All right. So um, the fully impregnated hides is necessary for us. It, it, for, for an automotive use, it has to be fully impregnated. So. So tadi Keegan tunjukkan design yang dia buat tu untuk Ford Galaxy yang tengah restore mod tu. So inilah apa yang dia gambarkan dan inilah apa yang dia orang buat. Now bear in mind ini bukannya seat asal Galaxy. This is not a restored Ford Galaxy rear seat. I think this is rear I guess. <laughs> yang ini dia buat 100% sendiri bufori buat sendiri 100% so as you can see leather dia ni sebenarnya belum habis proses lagi dia kena steam kan supaya dia betul-betul orang kata perketat ikut bentuk dia dan inilah teknik yang tadi Jerry dah cakap tu even kita pegang pun kita dah rasa selesa tak selesanya saya rasa dalam screen kau orang tak akan nampak betapa mewahnya benda ni ini memang betul-betul mewah this feels very luxurious and uh, Inilah door panel yang diorang reka juga untuk Ford Galaxy. You can never find this in another Ford Galaxy. So ini apa yang Bufori dah buat atas persetujuan owner. So dengan the chrome bits kat sini, dengan carpet kat belah bawah ni. And again, you have the same technique here. It looks really, really good. Dan ini ialah sun visor tu. So sebab kawan warna putih ni cepat kotor, what they did is they add another brown part here so that bila kau pegang, taklah cepat kotor. So, besar siut. Galaxy, Ford Galaxy punya ni lah. Nanti kita tengok kat bawah tu. Ford Galaxy. Ford Galaxy kat Malaysia orang ingat MPV tau. It's not. That is the European Ford Galaxy. Ford Galaxy yang diorang buat ni is the American Ford Galaxy. Dunia kereta klasik tak akan lengkap kalau tak ada Jaguar E-Type. And what we have here is the Jaguar E-Type 1966. 1966. Kereta ni buruk pun mahal dan ini ialah satu contoh di mana owner dia memang memang lebih daripada mampu tetapi dia dah kena tipu. <laughs> Anda dapat lihat kereta ni sebenarnya telah cuba di restore. Nampak cantik cat dia sebelah luar tetapi bila sampai ke Bufori mereka togelkan kereta ni dan owner dia boleh lihat sendiri dekat mana yang dia tak tahu pun benda tu tak dibuat. Karat dekat dalam masih banyak lagi. Jom tengok. So bila anda lihat segi sebelah dalam, benarnya sebelah dalam dia ni tak habis lagi dia buat dan yang Bufori dapat tahu dia orang tengok sendiri sistem pendawaian wiring dalam kereta ni dibuat dengan cara yang sangat berbahaya. It was done dangerously. So owner tu cakap Bufori, ambil kereta ni, you buat balik. And ini ialah antara permulaan proses restorasi untuk Jaguar E-Type ini. Saya ada nombor lagi kat sini, nombor syasi. But anyway, untuk full restoration, engine semua, semua barang mechanical telah dibuka. Used to be a V12 here. Nanti kita tengok engine ni kat mana. Bufori ni, dia adalah satu tempat yang I consider this as one stop center lah. Sebab bukan setakat body dengan dalam je dia buat. Even engine pun dia boleh restore and kita sekarang ni dekat engine room dia and this is the V12 yang ada dalam E-Type tadi tu yang ini dan ini ialah sistem suspension dia dengan on-board brakes dia kat sini ni So yang ini ni tengah tunggu untuk di restore Ada satu lagi engine menarik yang saya tengok yang juga tengah tunggu giliran untuk di restore Nampak? Rolls Royce So engine ni telah dibersihkan secara chemical It has been cl chemically clean Dan dia tengah prepkan Untuk a full rebuild So engine ni memang dah dibersihkan Kau boleh tengok sendiri ni Dan lepas ni dia akan cerai kan Dia akan buka And dia akan rebuild this lagi Tadi kita tengok E-Type tu Macam mana keadaan body dia tu Yang ini yang Ford Galaxy Yang kita tengok gambar tadi Yang Keegan lukis Dan ini dia Yang dah Well, body dia dah hampir siap. Anda boleh tengok luar dengan dalam macam mana Bufori buat. So, uh, Felix, 
This is Ford Galaxy. What year is this? This is a 1961 Ford Galaxy, right hand drive. 1969? 61. Oh, 61, sorry. sorry. 1961 Ford Galaxy. This was built in Canada. In Canada, correct. Originally right hand drive for Australian market, right? Correct, yes. Okay, so now for this car, what are the. This is a resto mod, which means that it's not really 100% factory standard. So what are the things that they have changed? Correct. So uh, restore mod means we modify the car while we restore it. That means the customer comes to us and explains um, exactly what he wants. In this case, uh, we actually transplanted a powertrain, a modern powertrain into this car. So this is a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 and an 8-speed ZF transmission. Um, so the original powertrain uh, was a V8 from Ford from the 1960s, so not very powerful. This one is 500 horsepower and we discreetly package all the modern technology in this car. So you have all the driver aids, you have a rotary gear selector for the, uh, uh, for the transmission, you have a electronic parking brake, um, a modern uh, head unit for the hi-fi and audio, uh, but all in a classic style and classic look, packaged with the um, styling that the customer wants. So, ini ialah papan pemuka standard Ford Galaxy tu. Nampak ni? Tapi owner dia kata, engine dah high tech, so dashboard bentuk original tapi with modern touches. So, kita tengok apa yang Felix akan, Felix akan cerita. Felix, so can you explain to me what you have done to the dashboard then? Yes, um, so what we did, we actually, this is a completely new dashboard. Yeah? So this is our own interpretation of how a classic Ford Galaxy dashboard should look like. So of course, it has to look classic, but we discreetly incorporate modern features. So you can see the electronic park brake here, uh, the engine uh, push button, uh, engine start push button. Then you have the rotary gear selector here. And this head unit here actually looks classic, but it has Bluetooth, it has uh, all the modern features you expect. Um, what do you have inside the glove box? In the glove box you have the, oops, uh, you have your SmartTech reader, a USB connection for the head unit, and you also have uh, buttons to open the different compartments like the trunk and to operate the clock here. Yeah. And the air conditioning unit is here. So ini ialah roda alloy yang akan digunakan untuk projek Ford Galaxy ini. Yang ini daripada American Racing Wheels. So yang ini custom sedikit sebab dia punya offset apa semua specific untuk projek Ford Galaxy ini. Kita dekat tempat yang sebenarnya Bufori jarang bagi orang masuk kan nampak tu. No camera allowed here. Ni tempat kira skangguk dia. This is their electronic department and with me here ialah Encik. Ya, yeah, Mr. Tan. Okay, so Mr. Tan, what are you doing? Apa yang you buat sekarang ni? Uh, this is the main harness uh, for the dashboard harness. Uh. For what car is this? For the Lahaya Mark III. So, ini ialah wire harness system pendawaian untuk Bufori Lahaya Mark III. So, why do you do it this way then? Uh, this is the only way to do lah. We have a systematic diagram. Okay, we just follow according to the point from one point to the other point. So, yang tadi kita tengok wiring dia tu, yang ini ialah bahagian electronics. So, macam saya selalu cakap, Bufori buat benda-benda dia sendiri. So, kat sini ni instrument cluster dia, dia punya meter-meter dia tu. So, sir, what's your name, sir? Myself, Suresh. Suresh? Right. Okay, Suresh, you orang mana? Where are you from? I'm from India. You're from India? Okay, I thought he's from Malaysia. You're from India, okay. Now, tell me, what do you do actually here with these instrument clusters? I mean, the instruments clusters, uh, we buy the instruments clusters and we match with our vehicle, which we reprogram to match with the sensors and the speed sensors, vehicle sensors, and then the temperature sensors related activities. So they are all assembled here? That's right. We assemble all the components. I mean, it's like uh, we do the design and uh, get it done the, uh, the bare PWB board from uh, outside and then we populate the electronic components and finally we do the programming and then we install the programming and uh, we test in the vehicle. So, yang ini untuk Geneva. So, basically, electronics ni, they want designs ni, they orang basically memang reka sendiri, kemudian hantar untuk komponen mereka buatkan, datang sini balik, dat assemble sini balik lah. So, this is very interesting man. <laughs> Preparation, persediaan badan kereta tu sendiri memang sangat penting dan ramai ambil shortcut. Tapi kalau nak buat cara betul macam Bufori ni, harga dia memang mahal lah. Tapi ini dia cara yang betul ya. They tear down the car, bersihkan sampai ke besi. Kemudian they sandblast kereta tu lagi. 
untuk tengok keadaan body tu. So Jerry akan tunjukkan kat kita. Yes Jerry, what can you tell us about this uh, Rolls Royce Corniche? So what we've got here is the body basically being prepared for body in white. Uh, we start off with the bare shell which is in bare metal. Um, we don't do we don't do sand blasting. We actually do media blasting. Oh, media blasting. That's a difference. Sorry. Yeah. So sand is sand. Uh, media is basically like a nylon pellet, ah. and the, the sand will punish the metal. The media will the, the nylon or the plastic pellets will actually just remove the paint without damaging the metal itself. I see. Okay. Um, so one of the things that we do here is talk about the attention to detail. This is a restoration, not a resto mod. So in a restoration, every imperfection that was there in the factory has got to be put back. You mean uh, imperfection from the factory? Correct. If there's an imperfection there, we need to put that we need to put that imperfection back in place. So, <coughs> untuk restoration yang tulen, kita ni mesti macam apa yang dia keluar daripada kilang. Maknanya, if there is some imperfection, ada benda yang tak betul daripada kilang tu, tapi dah ada kat kereta ni, benda tu pun kena remain dekat kereta ni. Supaya lagi 50 tahun, orang tengok kereta ni, orang ingat dia memang baru keluar kilang. So, contoh imperfection tu, benda yang yang cacat daripada kilang tu, contohnya macam dalam ni. Spot welding kat dalam ni, bila dia restore, ini tetap kena ada. So ini kira imperfection lah. So sebab tu Jerry kata dia tak buat sand blasting. Sand blasting akan rosak akan badan besi ni. So apa yang digunakan adalah media blasting. Mana dia gunakan plastik pellet untuk buang cat ni tanpa merosakkan besi, permukaan besi di bawah ini. So untuk bahagian ini sahaja menurut Jerry menggunakan 240 jam nak siapkan satu bahagian ini sahaja. So tu dia. Wah, gila punya kerja. So korang dah tengok proses-proses nak restore kereta dekat Bufori ni. Ni level dunia ni. So aku nak tunjuk, kita nak tunjukkan anda hasil dia. So what we have here is a Morris 8 tahun 1935. Setiap kereta yang dah habis di restore akan dapat dalam buku macam ni ni. Sebenarnya buku dia lebih cantik ini untuk diorang rujukan diorang. Dan untuk tunjukkan kan, dia ada studio shots pasal kereta tu bila dah siap. Dan yang paling penting sekali kena tunjukkan dekat kau. Kereta ni sebelum dia restore nah ni dia ni dia kereta ni sebelum dia restore keadaan dia memang ya Allah tahun 1935 bhai kereta ni tuan dia saya diberitahu daripada Kelantan dan dia telah menghabiskan lebih dari 600,000 ringgit untuk restore Morris 8 ini jadi so this is a Morris 8 1935 which you guys have restored for a Malaysian who Correct. resides in Kelantan right mm -hmm. so he just spent more than 600,000 ringgit mm -hmm. restoring this car so can you tell me what do you actually do to the car because from what I can see that this car looks brand new that's exactly what we do is make it look brand new make it brand new so this is what we call a restoration a restoration is different to a resto mod so we restore the car back to its original glory there's a few things that we do to improve the quality of the car and to improve the um, drivability and the safety. On these very old cars, these used to have a mechanical braking system. So when you put your foot on the brake, all these levers go everywhere to help you stop the car. So on these sort of cars, it's not a resto mod, but it's a restoration with some necessary upgrades for safety reasons. Now we change the braking system to a tandem, so a two-circuit hydraulic brake system. Another thing we do is we change it from 6 volt to 12 volt because often these old cars have battery problems and they're not used often enough. People will stop on the side of the road with a flat battery. Somebody comes along, a good Samaritan, puts his car jumper starter on there and jump starts it and he blows the electronics. So we change it to 12 volt for convenience. And we change it from positive ground to negative ground. So in traditional cars, especially from the UK, the body of the car was the positive side. The light bulb and the starter motor and all the electronics were the negative side. So on this, what we've done is we've reversed it so it becomes like a conventional motor car. 100% of the cars in the world today are negative ground. So for convenience, we make those sort of changes. This car can be considered as a resto, um, as a remanufactured engine. So for example, the engine on this car and the gearbox are literally remanufactured. Because they're not such a desirable car, these old cars, you can't buy spare parts off the shelf. 
So almost everything on this engine had to be remade by hand. Even if you look at the braking system, it's all made by hand. If you look at the wheels, the sport rim on this car, it's all made by hand in this factory. Nobody will make this wheel for you. How about the light? Lenses? The lights, these are all made in this factory. The whole light assembly, including the glass, is all done in this factory. One of our specialties is glass. So we make a lot of glass for a lot of different cars. So all these lights, they look correct, but they're actually reproduced right here. Untuk Morris 8 ni, sebenarnya Morris 8 ni jarang untuk orang restore Tetapi kami syak pemilik dia ada sebab-sebab nostalgik kenapa dia buat balik kereta ni Jadi kesukaran untuk mendapatkan alat ganti enjin ini memang ternyata betul, memang susah nak cari So apa yang Bofori buat ialah Dia restore, bukan restore, dia refabricate, dia buat balik enjin ni Mana parts yang tak ada, dia boleh buat balik So anda boleh tengok sekali enjin dengan transmisi ni Dia buat balik Dan komponen macam lampu ni Memang dah tak ada jual dah lagi So apa yang Bufori buat Dia buat balik Ini baru Tapi ikut bentuk asal Cermin lens ni pun Bufori buat Ya, Antara kelebihan Bufori ialah Mereka boleh membuat lens lens kaca ni ha, Dan setahu saya Ada juga model-model You did the, the last Tail light lens for the Jaguar, right? Correct. Yes, we did. Yeah, we reproduce those lights unofficially. <laughs> okay, the wine. Sekarang ni saya nak tunjukkan dekat awak ada satu kerja gila yang dia buat wire harness dia. So if you look at the wires here, even down to the wire itself, we use the best automotive wire in the world. But in addition to that, to be period correct, we have to braid the wire. Braiding the wire is almost something like a fabric that you put around the wire, every single individual wire and the colour on that wire is necessary to be period correct. So if you took the original workshop manual for this car from 1935, the document will tell you the headlight wire, for example, will be a green wire with a yellow stripe or it'll be a red wire with a, a dot in yellow colour, for example. Um, we've done the same thing, so we've followed the original colour codes and we make the whole wire harness for this car, we don't buy it. We make the wire harness. So if you get the camera in there closely and look at the way the wire is all done, that's all done in-house. There's not many companies in the world that will do that sort of detail. So, kebanyakan pelanggan sebenarnya tidak begitu faham tentang level restorasi yang mereka buatkan. Dan uh, walaupun mereka berbelanja banyak, selepas melihat apa yang Bufori boleh buat, nilai kereta itu akan naik berkali ganda. So, Yelah, ini memang pakar kereta betul lah Dia tahu apa yang dia nak buat Dan dia akan cakap dekat pemilik kereta tu Apa yang dia boleh buat This is something that Saya rasa dalam Malaysia anda tak boleh nak cari tempat lain lah Yang buat benda-benda macam ni lah ya Walau, Kalau awak tengok restore dah cantik apa semua tu Nothing close to this And kita dekat Kepong, Malaysia So itu dia, Bufori Daripada penghasil kenderaan sendiri Mereka juga ada projek-projek restorasi bertaraf dunia. Terima kasih kepada Bufori dan uh, terima kasih kepada anda untuk menonton dokumentari yang panjang ini. Saya nak juga kongsikan kepada anda sebab sebenarnya benda-benda yang anda lihat hari ini saya pernah lihat tetapi di Germany, di US, bukan di Asia Tenggara, definitely not in Malaysia. Hari ini saya tunjuk ke awak benda-benda yang ada dekat luar tu dibuat di sini dengan bakat-bakat orang tempatan. Sekian saja. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kami dan tekan butang loceng supaya anda tahu bila video baru kami akan muncul.